Welcome to Subramani. I am going to talk to you about uh, various stages of a human life uh, in terms of financial independence. So, uh, you need money right before you were born, right? Your mother needs money for nutrition, etc. Uh, you don't even know what that means. You are uh, still in your mother's womb and somebody is supporting you. It's your mother and your, it's your father. So, as that continues for a longish period, maybe you are till you are 24, 25, you earn some amount of money, but till then you don't really, uh, your parents are still not expecting you to fend for yourself. You, you may occasionally pay some money at home, you may, uh, you may buy your mother a watch from the stipend that you make, that's a different thing, but you are not contributing and you are not expected to contribute, maybe this goes on till about 24, 25. And I find uh, that is a stage maybe when you have taken up a job and you are earning well. Now this is a stage when most uh, people today, at least what I see in India, they expect to live and work in the same city, uh, they love to work in the same, uh, they love to live in the same house, uh, they drive a very similar car which their 52 year old father or 55 year old father is driving. So, they want to live in the same location, they want to drive the same car, they want to go on the same holidays, they want to spend the same amount of money as their parents. I don't know whether this is a, a very Indian phenomena, but definitely I see Indian kids. I see parents saying, oh, this, it's, it's okay I, if I take them business class and things like that. So, they get used to a particular style of living at that stage. They are earning but not earning enough to support a lifestyle of living in that place or driving a big car, right? So, right now you are in that hatchback stage, but you don't want to drive a hatchback. You got used to a Honda City or a Toyota Corolla and you want a similar car. So, this is a stage when you are earning, but you are still dependent on your boss or your customer if you are doing business and your parents were supporting your lifestyle. So, you are still at that stage. Then you reach a stage when you don't need that crutch, but you've already you've nicely transitioned because uh, because of your parental support, right? You've, you've reached that stage. Now the next, but you're still dependent on your boss or your customer because uh, major income is still from there. You have not yet saved much or not, or your savings don't really matter. This is what happens when you're about 30, 32, right? That's an age when you're still earning, earning well. Uh, but for your luxuries, you are still dependent on your parents and this is an increasing trend these days, right? After that, you reach a stage when you don't need those crutches, you are reasonably independent and now your cash flow allows you to have a higher standard of living, but still you don't mind dipping in uh, to your parents' kitty for some luxuries, right? You may want to buy a car or you, you, you expect your car or house or something. So, some part of the down payment coming from parents that, that happens at say 34-35 when you are buying a house. Then you reach a stage when you, you have reasonable amount of money that if you have to take 3 months off or 4 months off for medical reasons or things like that, you can still afford it because you have created a corpus and that corpus can be used for yourself. So, you, you do the next step is <coughs> when you have the corpus is so big that you start getting, if you were to draw from it, it would last you for your lifetime. This is the stage when you are financially independent, right? It's an amount of money and like uh, I think Charlie Munger who said, I never uh, started this process to get rich. I just wanted to be financially independent. You have now hit that number saying, okay, now I am financially independent, which means uh, if I want to leave my job, it is possible. If I want to stay at home for some time, it is possible. If I don't like this boss, I can tell him, uh, I don't want to work with you. If there is a customer who calls you and says we have to meet, you can say sorry, I don't do this work anymore. Right? Any of those things, those options are now available. Uh, these options could be because you inherited something, your parents are no longer there they or they are willing to support you, whatever, whatever be the reasons. But now you are 45 maybe, maybe your parents are not there, so you have inherited that, uh, that's been a big chunk of money. Whatever be the reasons, you have reached financial independence. That is the stage when you choose whether to work, not to work, how much to work, but they are, the assumption is you understand what are all the steps, you have to understand how to calculate your net worth, how to calculate your return, all these things are important. So, now are you financially independent? It is a very difficult question to answer, especially if you are a DIY, you have to answer this question yourself. If you have an advisor, you ask their advisor or you ask some of your uh, first cousins and second cousins. If you are let us say 50 years of age, find a cousin who is 70, find a cousin who is 60, right? So, they have gone through that journey. 
finding somebody who is 80 may not mean much because that person may have had lesser investment options but at 50 uh, or you are say 45 uh, 50 whatever stage you are start asking those people who are 20 years your senior and say what did you do how did you start accumulating when did you accumulate and you will find very very surprising answers people saying I didn't know whether this money was uh, sufficient but thanks to the boom in the equity market today I think it is sufficient. Here the assumption is uh, last 5 years I have got 18% return so therefore I will continue to get 18%. This is not true. So you have to understand all those things, all those implications if you are really serious about retirement and understand all these things that what are the stages which you pass through and when did uh, you really receive help from your parents. Uh, what else can you get or is it already over find out an answer for all these things then you can uh, realize whether you are really reached that stage of financial independence thank you